What's up guys, Brandon Jeremy here from friendofrc.com giving you our review of the new Team Associated Stock Spec V2 ESC and X12L 550 can brushless motor system. That's a lot of words, but I said them all right. Uh, so as you normal, we'll start out with technical and because I know absolutely nothing about technical, Brando is going to be doing most of the talking during this, but take it away. As you guys can see, we threw that system in our SC10 4x4. We're loving it so far. For a 550 stock spec motor, it's got plenty of juice. It was hanging with our Castle SCT Pro system on a 3-cell, mm -hmm. this being on a 2-cell. Perfectly smooth, great, tor or great uh, torque curve, really predictable. Stock spec motors make for a really, really nice truck. You're not fighting the truck, just enough power. Now this thing's got a few little features that we haven't begun to play around with fully yet. Adjustable timing, little things like that. But for just soldering on, throwing it on and go, I had a ton of fun with it. Great runtime, runs cool, really smooth, great system overall. One of the things I noticed was when you compared something like the stock spec <coughs> version 2 ESC and then the X12L can versus something like that clearly has more power to give, like the Mamba Max Pro mm -hmm. and the four pole castle match, the censored V sensorless made an absolutely huge difference on the track. Like, I, I'm, I'm not a, a true blood racer, but you could see it head to head that the censored ESC was was helping the SC10 4x4 just handle much, yeah. much better. Absolutely. They really shine through and you got a really curvy track and you're coming up to a hard turn and you're almost stopping the truck to make a hard turn and then punching off again. A sense or list system is going to sit there and hesitate and cog before it takes off again. And that can make the difference between, you know, many tenths of a second that mm -hmm. add up and just catching your groove. You know, you run on a track long enough, you start to get a good groove and get con consistent laps. A censored system really helps do that for mm -hmm. you. The truck always feels the same. You're not worried about that sensorless cogging or having that weird, it's almost like a dead band when yeah. you're coming off a hard turn. Yeah, there were a couple times I had the, the Mamba Max Pro and we were kind of going head to head and I would come around the corner and I'd be like, oh, what the hell, it turned off. And then it would just kind of blast off and that was extremely frustrating. Something that as a, mostly a true basher, I've never had to deal with because I've just had the <laughs> throttle full on all the time. Yeah, right. um, <clears throat> some of the other bonus features of this, it's going to be the, the new, um, you've got the USB programmability on there. You've got a whole slew of things uh, going on with this uh, motor and ESC. Uh, in terms of cost of operation, again, like with racing, everything's more expensive. It, you know, you compare this to a castle system, <laughs> you know, you're going to be like, why the hell would anyone buy this? Yeah. So, you know, I'd give it a par for the course. I mean, there's not like a heck of a lot of things to compare to and, and, yeah. and you know so it's, it's tough for me to place a value on that yeah stock spec you're right it's tricky but what you do get from stock spec is simplicity I mean you look at the size of this ESC it's it's almost <laughs> the same size as our receiver it's yeah. super tiny they're very compact very lightweight and uh, racers that's all they want you don't want a huge ESC with a big fan mm -hmm. you want it as little as possible to get away with winning a race and, and that's what these kind of systems give you the motor is engineered really well easy to maintain so again yeah you spend a little more but you definitely get what you pay for but application specific, you're not going to buy, the more, the more you spend doesn't mean the more fun you have. If mm -hmm. you're a basher and you go out and say, oh, it's 300 bucks, must be awesome. It's not going to be any faster than the mm -hmm. castle, but again, it, it's perfect for racing. Yeah. And then which goes into fun factor, and I'll bunch it with value because they're so closely related when it comes to racing. <clears throat> I will say I, I give it, if you find racing fun, which I only do in like a non-competitive, like, if I win, I get to punch you in the stomach, and then if you win, you get to punch me in the stomach kind of thing. Like, if I thought, like, competitive racing was fun, this ESC motor would be, would have a five out of five, and that's the best way I can really put it, and same for value. Um, I mean, it's not a hell of a lot of choices out there, so. Yeah. yeah, right. I'd say the same thing. The value is top notch in terms of a stock spec racing system, but you start to compare it against sensorless systems or you know high-end bashing systems like castles and the value seems to go down but it's kind of in its own area stock mm -hmm. spec is really really unique and in terms of it performing to what they advertise it's perfect five out of five in that area yeah it came out of the box installed real easy and did exactly what it was supposed to do exactly how it was supposed to do it mm -hmm. um so if i went if i were to go back would i buy this again now if you've watched our sc10 4 x 4 review i said i wouldn't go back and buy the sc10 4 x 4 but if I did buy this in the first place, I would absolutely go back and buy this ESC and, and uh, motor just because, I don't know, I'm kind of matchy-matchy. I liked everything to match. I thought it worked really well. And uh, I could see it when in competition with other ESC and uh, motor combos, the areas where it would shine through.
Yeah, and I agree too. I'd buy the ex exact same system for this truck if I were to buy it again because it's perfectly matched. It's a great fit. It's great on the track. It's predictable. It's smooth. It's everything the truck wants. You know, it screams for this. So yeah, I'd buy it again for this specific application. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and a lot of people might go with something a little bit different if they happen to run a low C or you know, Slash. I've seen obviously Valenians, but I've seen a lot of Tekken stuff or less and less now Novak, but that's out there too. Yeah, um, like we said in past <clears> videos, when you're talking about track equipment, it's widely subjectable. I mean, mm -hmm. every other race, someone's winning with something else because it's mostly driver, but the right. system does a great job. Yeah, so if you have any questions about the uh, stock spec V2 or the XL, X12L 550 brushless motor, post them up on down below or shoot on over to our website at friendofrc.com. Thanks. See you guys.